Let's uh, get uh, the viewpoint uh, of uh, Madame uh, in Violetta uh, McCover. Of course, we are today talking about uh, global transformation, and uh, you must uh, attest with me that some of these transformation are very, very visible, and we can see uh, a transformation in the political landscape, in the economic landscape, and of course, in uh, the social landscape in Africa. So today we want to look at Africa taking advantage of these uh, 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 transformation, dear in Violeta. So, in your perspective, what do you think are the stakes as far as uh, the Africa is concerned in its own uh, uh, perspective of this global transformation? What are the stakes to capitalize on? Okay, thank you very much, Clarissa. Um, Looking at Africa, a very rich continent, which is um, having a lot of minerals, a lot of arable land, a lot of things to offer. Um, what is really important is first of all, to before Africa can take a role in, in global transformation it is for africa to be recognized for who for what it is you know um if africa would have been given uh its stand uh and allowed to be able sorry can you hear me sure yeah sure, okay all right you. and be allowed to be uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Eddie mentioned uh, sovereign, uh, about sovereign, sovereignty. If uh, Africa would be allowed to be what it is and be able to maximize and um, add value to what it has, then it would be so easy for it then to stand in its uh, uh in its role and be able to capitalize on whatever that it has to offer into the world the problem is that um even though the trans global transformation is happening it's um affecting more of the people that are available for it um i'm looking i love to go back when we are discussing to go back to the ordinary person the one that is uh not having uh let's say uh, access to the internet like we are having the one that is not having access like uh the things that the world is offering is that ordinary person is that ordinary person being uh, um uh, how sorry if my language is <laughs> getting up. I used to speak German. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, so, like um, the ordinary person, uh, how are they being uh, affected with this transformation? Are they being also like? Let me just give an example of what I'm trying to to put up here. Like, uh, uh, let's uh, take for example example for for of uh, internet. Is this internet affecting, uh, is it being brought to the ordinary person? Are we only talking of transformation to people who it's only available it? If internet is taken to every person and let's say we'd say, okay, let's take internet to Africa and make sure that from the very smallest person to the to the richest person everybody is put and be allowed to take their role um when we try and put this um uh, I I'm, I'm trying to oh god uh, I'd like to really put this into picture. Forgive me. Yeah, I'm used to speak in German every day of my life, and now I'm trying to transfer this to English. But uh, back to uh, to us. Um, if we try to just bring the transformation first to Africa, the global transformation first to Africa, maximize everything that is in Africa for the African people, then it is easy now 
to stand up and say, okay, this is Africa. They have this, they have this, they have this. And uh, then they can be able to uh, take their role in global transformation. I hope uh, I didn't mix you up there, Clarissa, and I hope I answered your question.